I finished this uh, gear yesterday. Uh, I kept the teeth and uh, gear itself uh, a year ago or maybe more. So I just uh, cut the keyways yesterday. It's, the, it's 82 gear to replace this old one that's really worn. I don't know if it's possible to see in the picture but it's wore out. So I oh, will just put it on where it's supposed to sit and uh, adjust the backlash here. I think we'll try to do that back flash. We'll see how it works. I'm still waiting for new studs here. I'm going to replace all of them because they're so worn. And then we'll just put it back on new studs and uh, uh, washer or seal and the cover. Here's yesterday's second project, it's the carriage lock bolt, which I never had before. So yesterday I made it and it works. The only thing I'm maybe going to change is maybe I'll shorten the top bolt head there a little bit and make a bronze washer for it so it doesn't bite into the carriage itself. some washers that for the bolts that hold the apron to the carriage. Uh, I couldn't find the right size, so I'm going to modify some, one, some of the ones I bought. I have a machine this part here now, and I'll put the, the washers on, like so. And then I'll turn the outside to the correct uh, diameter. I think it's about uh, 19 and a half millimeter. That will be the good fit. I made the cut now, and we'll see if the washers are the right size. Now well, we will see if the washers. I uh, know they fit the bolts. Will they go down in there? That's the right size. So now it's just a matter of 
loosening uh, the eight bolts here, four on this side and four on this side, one by one and putting in the washers. The washers are in now, I guess you maybe can see them in there. I think the point of those washers are to uh, seal the apron from coolant and stuff because some of the bolt holes go through into the oil uh, reservoir on the apron. Now the, all the bolt heads are a little, little higher up too. So uh, that's it for that project. Today's plan is to replace the studs here for the cover down there. I'm taking out uh, all the studs that are worn out and weren't studs at all like those two. I got uh, new studs there and uh, new nuts and Loctite and my wrenches. It's just a matter of putting them in and putting the cover back on with its gasket. I got my reamer the other day and it's a checking reamer because that were the only ones I could find with the carbide tip so I modified it slightly so I can use an 11 16 wrench on it and now we'll see if we can ream that so the lead screw will go in the lead screw is assembled now uh, it turned out um, it was a burr on the lead screw, or not exactly a burr, but the raised portion where the old taper pit had bent. Uh, so I had to file that a little bit, and the one inch reamer went into this piece just fine. But now it's done. This casting here is uh, where the cover for the drive belt and clutch mechanism hinges. It just sits here. This core has been broken and welded some time. Um, the problem I had before uh, I disassembled the lathe was that this core wouldn't uh, close properly. So now I'm planning to do a test fit with uh, this casting and the cover to see if I can get them to fit properly now. If not, um, I'll probably have to cut this casting in two pieces again and uh, get it welded uh, with more space in here. We'll see how it goes. This isn't even close to fitting. As you can see in here, 
big gap there, which I can't get rid of because of the locking mechanism there. Um, so I think I'll have to uh, remove the locking mechanism first and uh, then I see if I can get the casting or discover casting further back 